like help him drum up publicity or send money you know uh to his cause and that that's on my youtube page and i'm sure it's on his youtube page so look him up if you're a ti these things that that you know the things that he's doing humanity warriors doing um you know me and uh some other friends we we really want to get that audio spotlight i think we we got around 170 dollars um and we're we're gonna you know try and work some stuff out but i'll i'll make another video um you know and that would that would just be great if we could get that and show people uh and that may that may even have um you know some wi more wide ranging uh good things about it like cuz if we can put some kind of cone of silence around people that this uh these electromagnetic frequencies can't break through um, it that might be an option to put an audio spotlight with something and then you can't hear any of the stuff they're shooting at you so we don't we're not quite sure but we know the audio spotlight is going to be great for awareness but we're not quite sure it may even be better for other things about the targeting um, I'm not getting a whole lot of vehicular stalking I'm getting some trailers some one light cars not a whole lot of police but like I said, because I'm doing these videos, even if I was in a park, you know, videotaping a squirrel and I'm a, I'm a, you know, person of interest, it'll be reported back to a DHS fusion center because uh, that's one of the criteria, uh, people filming stuff and not really filming anything. Uh, that It's actually in the, in the dockets. Look at Targ Indy's video about it. If you want to learn more... If you want to learn a lot about the DHS fusion centers, the vehicular stalking and street theater, please watch that video. Target, I think it's called Targeted in America, uh, and his, his uh, tag is Targ Indy. Um, a lot of great stuff is happening. Like, you know, with my family right now, it's like, you know, we're trying to move stuff around so I can move out. Um, you know, I'm still, I, I have to work, you know, I have to work at the charity. Uh, with my mom because you know she she really needs me there um, so I'm trying to work out a lot of stuff that I can do but now's the time to to take some uh, take some steps you know uh, support these heroes uh, these humanity warriors they're heroes they're going out there every day um, they know it's important they sense that it's important and it is uh, David Boyd is, is a hero um, you know my friend Mike, uh, he's a hero for doing these conference calls every night. I know he's, I know he gets taught. He's been targeted so long, but he does it. He does it consistently. He has these conference calls, uh, you know, Monday and Thursday. He, they're just they're heroes, um, and I, I, I watch them, and they inspire me so much. Uh, so many people that that I haven't mentioned uh, that are target individuals that they'll never stop. You know, they'll never stop empowering themselves finding new ways to, to, you know, get these guys on tape, um, you know, they're heroes, so we've got to back them up, um, you know, and that, that's what, that's what I, I plan on doing a lot more, uh, but when somebody sets an example like that, and we can join them, or, or just, you know, you know, if you can't join in the walk, do something else to support them, um, but, but I mean, we've got to get behind them, We've got to join them. We've got to reach out our hands and show them. We got to show. We got to set examples that if if a TI does something really great, uh, that we're gonna be there. We're gonna gather around them um, because these people, these psychos that do this to us, they gather. They gather together and then they gather around us and then that they do. They have a lot of power against us. Uh, a lot of evil, evil power that will eat itself eventually. But um, in the meantime, we need to we need to start trying to neutralize it and get it weaker so that they can't hurt as many people. Because you know there are people you know committing suicide and uh, dying of weird, freakish things. Um, it's it's very evil. It's evil that we're fighting. Um, you know. So so I just wanted to say that like. All, there's awesome things like please comment if you if you know of TIs doing other things I know I just went through like maybe three things that TIs are doing and, and TIs out there are doing so much more um, I, I just I just know that like I mean it's it's tough for me because I've, I've really um, 
I really have to support uh, the charity I work for. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find some time, and I, I'm I'm working it out. Um, you know, but but this stuff is really important because uh, I mean we're we're being murdered. Like I don't want to I don't want to bring this down any because I mean it is there's hopeful stuff out there, but you know we are being murdered. So it's important to speak up. It's, a, it's important to push back. You know, I went on I went online on YouTube, and there's just so many. You know, there's some uh, some guys being gang stalked. Um, you know, and they're going around. They're getting videotaped of vehicular stalking. Be very careful about it and confronting people. Uh, but it is your right. It's not illegal. Um, you know, with these DHS fusion centers, they've they've written underground rules and guidelines. Uh, you know, for surveilling and covert surveilling people. But these aren't laws. Uh, these are just. I mean. It's it's almost like um, you know they're not laws they're they're just basically written on these procedural guidelines for these agencies, which is really treason in itself. Um, but I mean they they will get you on it because people are following along. Uh, the people who like follow the hierarchy are just following along, even if the, these laws aren't legit. The American people haven't passed them or anything like that. Um, so it is really treason. Uh, technically, you know what they're doing. Oh, well, it's true. The the uh, non-consensual experimentation is definitely treason. The DHS fusion centers, where they're surveilling like non-criminal activities and people of interest who aren't doing anything criminal, uh, that's actually treason. Um, but they do have guidelines and stuff in these agencies. Um, so just so I just wanted to make this video to kind of check in. Um, and, and, and tell you all that because I thought it was my main organizer who like I'm videotaping this stuff videotaping the one light cars and then I get more of it but what that probably was is somebody uh, you know like a policeman who caravan me or something he said that I was videotaping in my car um, and they go to the DHS fusion centers and then they patrol you more um, so so it's a so a lot of it works itself this evil program is well oiled evil like, I like to say that I don't respect it at all, but I'm not going to underestimate it because it's a lot of people not knowing what they're doing. The, there's some people, even the people who are microwaving us. There's one light uh, SUV right there, that gray one. But even the people microwaving us, they don't know. They have no idea what's going on uh, on a larger scale. Um, I mean, they're, they're really bad people. Uh, but even they are just, uh, you know, just one part of this, um, you know, kind of, kind of evil, evil thing uh, to really rip down our society, destroy our economy, and really, you know, hurt morale, hurt morale of all the people in America to think that they have to betray their neighbor or, you know, uh, you know, stalk somebody to to be able to to get money. Um, and, and stay financially stable. Um, it's horrible. That that decreases morale so much uh, to know that we can't just be honest with each other and courageous and uh, and work together in America. Um, I love you guys. Uh, got about seven minutes left, so I'll break this up into two parts. But right now, I'm not getting a whole lot of vehicular stalking. There's a couple of one light cars this morning. I had one one policeman. It probably will pick up. Somebody will report that I, you know, videotaping the car. Which, how would they know that if I'm just holding my phone like this? I could be talking to somebody. So that kind of shows that they're, you know, the illegal surveillance is pretty much open uh, to those DHS fusion centers. Um, you know, I'm just not sure of those connections. You know, I have theories and things like that. Um, there's so much more information coming out, guys. Um, you're just you're just not alone. If you are a target individual, and you feel like you can't do anything, you're just you're so not alone. I kind of I kind of want to do I, I kind of want to break this up into three parts. I guess I want to keep keep videotaping right now, y'all, because um, I do want to talk about um, if you. Like, I see so many Target individuals. They're artists, they're painters, uh, you know, beautiful musicians. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the Target individuals, they love playing video games. 
stuff like that. Um, an idea that I had, and I'm just throwing it out there, and I haven't really been talking about it a lot on the conference calls, and I guess it's, it's maybe just common sense. And I did hear Gotham Nation talking about it uh, somewhat. You know, he said that, you know, what they really don't want you doing is they really don't want you, you know, making a cooking video or a video about how to get through some a video game or a video of you pay, playing the piano or a video of you showing off your artwork. Um, you know, these are just a couple of, of examples of what people would be good at who are target individuals. Um, but he was talking about how even in some of their papers, and there's a one light black car... I'm not really getting these good. Um, but he was saying how we are, uh, I can't remember the term he used. Um, I, I can't remember the term he used, but, but it, he said that they are targeting a lot of people who can't really be turned by the hierarchy or some kind of communal insanity. So they're targeting those people, um, and they really don't want you doing anything because anything you do is going to gain a lot of following uh, because, because he says that you know, they are targeting some leaders, people with leadership qualities, people who, you know, I, I, I don't know what to think about that. Um, I mean, I guess I can get into that, but I think it's, it's, it's a lot more random than that. I think after you become a target individual, then you're really special. Um, then you, you've got a mission, uh, you can help a lot of people. Um, y'all comment on that. You tell, tell me, you know, why you think they target you. I, you know, sometimes, I think it's all different things. I think it's convenient sometimes. Um, I think it's payback sometimes. I think it's sometimes there are people that they think, uh, you know, may have leadership qualities or some kind of you know, uh, ability to influence people in the community. Uh, you know, Gotham Nation talks about it on his video, Why Are We Targeted? So watch that and watch his opinion. Um, he's a very smart guy. Um, I like his sarcasm a lot. Love it. Um, but, but please watch, um, you know, that video and why he thinks that we're targeted. But back to my idea, um, you know, he was, he's saying, you know, that what they don't want you doing is making like a gardening video or a, how to do this on your computer or how to, you know, how, how to, you know, showing your paintings off or, you know, playing music on YouTube or something like that. And, um, you know, I'd been thinking about it a, a long time before that because I want to, you know, I want to edit videos with, you know, comic book movies or action movies with songs that I like and kind of intermingle them on my channel so that they would get views and people would, you know, uh, they, they would traffic through my channel and, and see the targeted individual part. Um, that, that's what I would, I would suggest. If, if you're a targeted individual... And maybe you don't even want to speak about your experiences. Um, maybe you do want to speak about your experiences. But a great idea would be if you're an artist or a musician, uh, make videos just with that. Make a video of you doing, you know, your piano playing or uh, if you play the violin or guitar. Um, you know, put those up and then and then make videos, your TI videos, explaining your situation like that. Intermingle them to get more traffic through your social media. Um, if you if you don't want to talk about your TI experiences, just make videos. Um, you know, showing your ta showing your talents, um, and then maybe put a link uh, about target individuals. You know, so. Um, there's a lot of ways to do that, and I'm just kind of spitballing. <clears throat> I'm kind of spitballing an idea out, um, you know, that I've been thinking about because I want to show more of something else that might get more views than than target just talking about our target individual experiences, um, and then and then kind of attaching it to the social media. I've been trying to do it. I haven't had a lot of time uh, to to edit. Uh, stuff and I still have to get a little editing program for my PC um, because my Final Cut Pro free trial expired. Um, but it's like I'll put up, you know, I'll put up videos that I like of other people who have done that and kind of attach them, you know, to my channel. 
Um, I don't know if that does any 